Hi, I'm Susan and welcome to Be Mindful. Today we're doing a moving meditation. We're going to mindfully move our bodies in gentle, slow ways and feel what it's like to be in our bodies. I'm borrowing this meditation from Michelle Duval from the Mindful Center in Albuquerque. She led a group of us in a meditation like that this morning. And when I told my group about it, they wanted to do it too. So I put my own spin on it, but I credit her for giving me the idea to do it. You can do this meditation standing up. That's what it's intended for. But if you don't have balance when you're standing or you prefer to sit, you can do the same thing in a chair. It works just fine. So find a comfortable position for yourself. Preferably if you're standing, have some way to support yourself in balance if that's needed. And let's get started. So we're gonna do a standing meditation today, some moving meditation. And you can do this in your chair um, if you don't wanna stand um, or you can stand. So let's begin by acknowledging that um, sometimes movement and meditation don't seem to really go together. But with mindfulness meditation, the, the point, the goal, is to be aware of the body. And so movement is perfectly okay. Um, with some forms of meditation, stillness is an important aspect, but with, uh, with mindfulness meditation, it's, it's okay to move. And so you'll notice a lot of times when we begin, I'll encourage you to move your body in whatever way would be comfortable. So in today's meditation, we're doing a moving standing meditation. A lot of times with meditation, we keep our eyes closed because it can help with the focus. Here, sometimes when we're standing, when we close our eyes, we can kind of lose our balance. And so I'll encourage you to, to do one of two things. Either find something if you're standing to um, give yourself some support. So I'm using a chair that's next to me um, if I'm closing my eyes, but you can also keep your eyes open, but just softly focused on the floor in front of you. Or if it's helpful for you to watch what I'm doing, you can keep your eyes open um, for that purpose. But if you find yourself feeling like you're kind of losing your balance, be sure to open your eyes or get the support that you need. So let's begin with our feet firmly planted on the floor. That same if you're in a chair, slightly wider than hip width to give yourself that stability and settle into a position that allows you to feel balanced on your feet. Again, get support if you need it. <clears throat> And we begin by just looking inside and noticing what parts of the body feel most prominent as we stand. Notice how the pelvis is aligned over the feet, the hips, a sense of uprightness in the spine, Arms, if they're not being used for support, can just be next to the legs. And just taking a moment to see what sorts of movement, even as you stand still, that you can detect in your body. Right, those slight adjustments that we make to keep ourselves balanced, muscles engaging. Even perhaps 
some slow digestion happening in the body. And of course, the movement of the breath as it comes into the body and leaves the body. We can actually begin some movement in this standing moving meditation by slowly lifting the arms in front of the body. Until the hands are over the head. Noticing how this posture, this position feels different than standing with the arms down the sides of the body and bringing the arms back down slowly, intentionally. To a neutral position. And doing this slowly and intentionally at your own pace. Feeling the stretch of the back when we reach the top. Noticing how the muscles feel in the arms as they move. Continuing to breathe. And now moving the arms to the side and lifting them extended and seeing how that feels different from having the arms forward. And if anything about this is painful to one arm or the other, feel free to adjust. Just use one arm if that's needed. Or don't raise all the way up. We don't want you to do anything that hurts. Any movement of the arms is okay. We're just noticing how it feels to slowly and intentionally move the body. Now let's come back to our standing neutral position. Breathe. And notice how the body feels now compared with how it felt when we began. And now I'll invite you to bring your chin over to your right shoulder. They're not touching, but just a gentle swivel of the neck so that you're looking out to your right. And then keeping the hips facing forward, it can help to um, put your hands on your hips actually. Twist the spine so that you are looking behind you. Don't twist so far that it's painful. 
but just allowing the torso to slightly swivel so that you feel that gentle stretch through the neck and the back. And then coming back so that the whole torso is forward, but the head is still turned to the right. And then slowly bring the neck back, the head back to neutral. And then we do the same on the other side for symmetry. Twisting the neck gently so that the chin approaches the left shoulder. And then keeping the hips straight swiveling, twisting the back slightly to look behind you. Feeling the stretch in the back and the neck. Beginning to rotate forward, looking to the side, and then slowly turning the head back to neutral. And now dropping the chin toward the chest, allowing the head to come forward, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck, and beginning to rotate the head and twist so that the head comes to the right, and the right ear is over the right shoulder. We don't need to stretch the shoulder in any way. We're bringing the ear to the shoulder. Feeling that stretch on the left side of the neck. Rotating back. So that the chin and the nose are pointed up. And the back of the head approaches the back of the body. Closing the jaw to feel the stretch of the front of the neck. And beginning to bring the left ear over the left shoulder. Feeling the stretch on the right side of the neck. And then coming forward to where we started with the head bowed forward and the chin tucked in, bringing the head back to neutral. And now I would invite you to go inside with your body. And if there is a part of your body that feels like it wants to move, that is calling out for your attention, that you move your body in whatever way would satisfy what you're feeling, what you're sensing. And I can't tell you what that is. You are the expert for your body but it does require a little bit of stillness as you scan from head to toe, noticing areas of tension or noticing an area that would enjoy being stretched or moved. And move your body in whatever way you feel called to do.
And if there is no movement that seems like what you want to do at this moment, it's fine to stand still and just notice what you can sense in the body, even if that's just the breath moving. There's no right or wrong way to move unless it's painful, but then I wouldn't recommend that movement. We're simply moving with intention and noticing the difference in sensation that that movement brings. Now I'll invite you to come back to neutral again. Once again, noticing the sensation in the body, the support of the ground beneath the feet. Noticing the posture of the body. If your eyes have been closed, I invite you to open them and become present to the space around you. Thanks for joining me today in trying out this mindful movement meditation. I hope that in moving your body, you noticed things that maybe you wouldn't have if you had just been going through your day. Um, I find that moving slowly brings a greater awareness than a, a fast sort of repetitive movement. So I'm curious to hear what you noticed when you moved your body in this way. I'd also love to hear how you decided to move your body when I invited you to do it on your own at your own pace. If you're not already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing that so that you can be part of future meditations. A like is always a great compliment and comments are welcome. Thanks and have a great day.